Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Psychonauts. I am your friendly neighborhood Pokeprof. Last time we left off, Lily got kidnapped by a giant monster, and we found out that pretty much every kid on campus has had their brain stolen. By a dentist, of all things. We are now going to go chase this creature and use Admiral, the Vassal Spear. Did you hear that? The hideous hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata just kidnapped Lily. Lungfish? So that's what's been tearing up my canoes. Well, I know just what to do. You do? Great! Yeah, I've got some lungfish proof to lack. I'll just slap on a fresh coat, maybe two, and that's that. Admiral, the monster is still out there, and Coach Oleander is trying to take over the world. Of course. Oh, yes, the world's a crazy place, son, but, but don't worry. The canoes are safe. As you can see, Crawler, when he's not near the Titanium, not exactly helpful. But yeah, now we gotta do our best to save Lily. She's in trouble. Might as well also go ahead and grab this side card while we're here. And as you all can see, there's plenty of side cards actually to go around this area. I'm not going to be collecting them all, but I'm at least going to collect a few to show that they're here. Can I actually get you? That's one way of... And, sorry Raz. At least we don't lose a life for doing that here. But, yeah. Still not sure if I'm ever going to do 100% on this. I'll really leave it up to my viewers, aka you guys, so we do. But until then, just grab those few cards. Let's go save Lily. Because she needs saving. She's holding out for a hero. It's a giant bubble. I'm not sure how scientifically accurate that is. Probably not very considering, you know, we're a psychic soldier. Remember these, we're gonna be using them a little bit more later on. The creature's prints are still glowing. This must be where he brought Lily. Mm-hmm. So in that case, we're gonna go up and start clearing this out. So we can travel up. Because there's really no other place to really explore. I mean, everything else is water, and even though it's just water that's like in a little air bubble, it's still gonna affect Raz with that little hand. Hmm. That's a bell. Let's use it. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! And there's the lungfish. Or bear without fur, as Mikhail has called it. Okay, cough up the girl and no one gets hurt, fish. Man. It's going to be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. Are lungfish just naturally lumpy? Anyway. Welcome to a boss battle, folks. The lungfish has two settings. Suck and blow. You want to hit the containers that have tacks in them or nails. I'm not sure what. While the lungfish is sucking. When it's blowing, dodge. You also have to be careful of a lot of the little creatures that it spits out on top of everything else. Because those guys will hurt you just as much as anything else. But, after three times of it sucking up nails, it decides to push the bubble. And now we get one of the more irritating sections of the game, 
or we're seeing through the eyes of the lungfish. How we're doing this without the power of clairvoyance? Don't ask. I consider it just a weird game mechanic. Really, they should have given us clairvoyance before this, so it would have at least made some sense. But if you ever remember those moving stages from a lot of old uh, platforming games from like the Super Nintendo area, that's pretty much what this is. It doesn't move too fast, so you should be able to keep up with it and not die to the water. But it's more the camera angle that can get a little weird, considering we're stuck with this angle of seeing through the sh uh, the uh, fish's eyes. Clams will slam onto you if you go and step onto them. So be careful there. And now we get a new angle! Because we're moving somewhere else now. See you. We got to hurry. Come on, Raz. There we go. We should be safe for now. Sometimes it's a little hard to gauge where exactly the water is gonna pull out, so. And if you find yourself getting hurt by any of the creatures here, you can uh, destroy the fish and the crabs for health. I find the crabs drop health a little bit more often than the fish, but you still gotta be careful. Because all both of them can go and attach to you if you're not careful enough. Now we gotta go through lungfish blowing. I also love how the lungfish is actually throwing out the tacks that we use to fight it. There's two. Do we have a third? That would be... no, we gotta wait. Oh, yep, there we go. Ah, damn. Yeah. At least he gave us plenty of ammunition now. Come on, there you go. And now for motion sickness number two. I actually got stuck there for a moment. Thankfully, unlike the race that you have in Mia's mind, uh, where you can actually go back even at this state of the game and uh, do it multiple times, you only have to go through this particular segment once. So there's nothing like necessary that you need to go and collect here. That's it. I kind of find it interesting how they have like little buildings and whatnot. It's like, there appeared to be something that existed here underneath the lake at one point. Because I'm really, really curious about what they would have done more with this game had they had the chance. Because it's like, there's so much in here that's like, just hinting at things that we never get to see. And it's probably one of my biggest disappointments when it comes to this game is simply the fact that there's just so much more that could have been done with it and we'll just never get to experience it. Or at least never as far as, ow. Double fine is concerned! Move, Raz! Move, Raz! As you can see, that's the one sucky part about this thing is simply the fact that sometimes it's really hard to gauge where the water is. And this part always scares me. But once the lungfish does this, we can j jump on here and be perfectly fine. 
And I believe this is where we actually fight the lungfish for real. Yep, here we go. Come on, fishy. Now this part is actually fairly difficult. What you gotta do is you gotta make sure you coax the lungfish over to one of the clams here. And if you do it correctly, the lungfish will go and hit the clam instead of you. Otherwise, the lungfish kind of hurts, like, really bad. You also gotta make sure you don't miss like I did. I'm on, fishy. And this should finish ya! There we go. Ah, oh, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry leg bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Whoa. Poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there! Is it convenience writing or it just shows how t uh, experienced Crawler is that he knows it's been mutated and has an implant in its head? Either way, let's do what Crawler said and fish out that item. The Psycho Portal. This will allow us actually to travel pretty much into anybody's mind. With certain limitations. You'll see that later. Into the mind we go! Or nose, maybe. And welcome, my friends, to the best level in the game. You'll see why very shortly. Ah, top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. Ah! Oh, Gagalo! Welcome, my friends, <laughs> to uh, the city of the lungfish. This is the lungfish level. One of my favorites, simply for the fact that we're freaking Godzilla. Well, Godzilla in a certain respect. Not the easiest level by any respect, simply because of your controls are a little slower and you can't even levitate here. I don't think that's going to work. Simply because we're too big. Double jumping is not all that easy either. But it's funny to actually be able to smash things and whatnot. But I think we shall actually hold off on the storyline purposes and whatnot for next time. Oh, and actually, for this water, we can actually walk into it without any issues. But I think we'll hold off to anything for next time simply because we're starting to run a little low on time but until then folks we'll actually go and explore the mind of the lungfish till then <laughs> <laughs>